What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off happened last time, uh, we successfully defended a attack on Niagara. And the Americans now have only one region. It's not very valuable, but they do have significant forces attacking it. My forces were originally clumped over here by Niagara, but thanks to this stupid Quebec stack, I can't transit this passage, so I have to run around the mountains and come in from the east. But I'm going to leave this stack here in case, for whatever reason, the Americans decide to try to break out west. Which would be something I would look to do. But everything else seems... Okay. So you're not doing anything, because there's no one to... <laughs> no one to blockade, I suppose. Still recruiting lots of trade ships. Could be, could be fun. Well, is it worth securing Iceland at the minute? Not really. I mean, I know I've got money to spare, but balancing priorities and so on. Ah, so my Mexican army is complete. Well, I might just send them on a long walk up to to Yankton. So, well, how far can I walk before? I can walk up to there. They're going to walk up to here, then attack and secure Yankton. Then maybe move east and secure York Factory. And then we'll decide whether or not we hit the Huron, which I think we do. Um, but we are, at some point, going to hit the Quebecs and the Prussians. So this is going to be a bit of a battle to secure Montreal. When we hit Quebec, we're going to have to go and secure their Caribbean holdings as well, which shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Cool. Let's do a bit of a... Right, because you've got so much money. Let's do an infrastructure check to make sure everyone's either max or or um, upgrading. Good. Good stuff. Then when it comes to industry building, make sure we've... So it might seem a bit extreme, but you know, do I need to upgrade this? Not really, but I've got the money, so I may as well reap the benefits of having it, because it's not going to cost me... I don't have the problem of, uh, I'm not going to fix you, because you're going to come out and attack everyone. Same with you, sorry. No point spending money if the AI is in a position to raid and demolish it, then you've spent the money and achieved nothing. Everything else seems golden. I do this because it just seems easier. Make you to make sure you don't at least you don't miss anything. But yeah, we just got buckets of cash. Sweet. Um, but I think I'm gonna hit. Even though I've got all this money, I'm gonna hold on to it. No, oh, actually, do I? So let's have a look at some of my. Trade fleets. So you're full. You're not full. So let's do. Let's take these guys up to the East Indies. Because we are currently earning bank from trade. Not, 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 not as much on furs though, but that's probably because we're supplying tons of everything. Not exploring any furs because of this single ship. So I'm just going to go over there. Destroy it. Capture it as a. Capture it. Then go back to blockading New York. And now. We are trading some furs. How much money are we making a turn? 72,000 a turn. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But I think the only thing to do is to hit end turn. And, uh, well, maybe hit. Senor. But yeah, it'll be two turns before we can get our armies into position. In which case, then I might as well just do this. Might as well just recruit a general's bodyguard. Not a household cavalry. Don't need, they don't need that level. Two units of horse. Some light artillery. Let's 
some light infantry and start getting some conscripts and militia. I may as well make a small force to go and secure Iceland, as it's a, a free territory. Or I could effectively start operations here on fighting the Russians. There's no need to wait for the... There's no need to wait for um, the American situation to cool off. Oh, and I can get Marines as well. I think I might do that. So let's keep my... Okay, let's get... So you, you need to get some... Three heavy first rates. And a selection of firsts. And I want this as a strong navy. Because I want always to have a strong navy here. To defend my position. Um, but I want one of my navies to sail. In. And secure. Maybe Finland. That would be a nice poke in the eye to the Russians. That might be an idea. So just say Australia and the Baltic can secure Finland on the assumption I'm not going to be at war with Prussia um, in time, I think. Cool. If it's going to take me a couple of turns to get to the Americas, then I'm not going to get to Prussia. I'm not going to get to a Montreal very quickly either. Or I could have to buy it off of them. Oops, here's the Quebecs. Of course, they're taking it. They're going to take an army somewhere. Where? That's the question. Probably to Nassau. Uh, withdraw. Okay, so they've given me a nice opportunity to weaken. So I'll be careful of him on my flank, but they've given me a nice opportunity to weaken their troops by coming in a bit a bit at a time. So even though the odds are stacked against me, according to the battle manager, I think it definitely take it. Cause it even um I'll still have um caused massive casualties to them. Glorious fleeting, but obscurity is forever. Jesus Napoleon, it was just a buzzkill. Obscure people run the world. It's the problem, which means I don't want to be... Which means I probably want to be... More over here. I think, because I can face this direction and, this, and then the armies support and armies that come in. So I want to put... Yeah, let's do this. Then do two mosqueteros. I think as most of the armies have come from here, I want to keep my fusiliers here so I can deploy stakes. So you're deployed. So I think I want to do something like this. It's going to look really funky. You're deployed, you're deployed. Let's get a foot line out here ready to deploy. Hearts is in the centre. Conscripts. No, oh, my irregulars. Let's just put two units of here ready to deploy on the flank here. Another two units here ready to deploy on the flank there. Then my general's bodyguard here. This would feel like a natural weak point. But I think this forms enough of a bit of a barrier for it not to be too bad. If it was one line unit, I'd be concerned that they don't have enough firepower to face off threats coming from the left or the right. I'm going to place stakes, because it doesn't. It looks like the AI is not going to come this way. So I want to place stakes to defend my flank. Because there's lots of cavalry coming from this way. So let's get everyone deployed.
blast off a few cannon shots. Might kill some fusiliers. Shot, hit the Hessian line. That artillery is hitting their cavalry. Good, they're retreating, but they did soak up a lot of my. They did soak up a lot of my stakes, but at least not all the stakes in front of my artillery, which was the uh, the, the chief priority. My regulars out on the flank. We have household cavalry, so I'm probably going to want them to do round shot. Form square. Present. Hit the Guerrilla Mercenaries. One square with this guy, but it might be a bit too late. Just hit my general's bodyguard into their, inf their cavalry. Run them in to tag them. It's another general killed. Oh, you keep hitting the gorillas, actually. These guys can probably shoot into the flanks of the uh, cavalry battle. Goons are running to the stakes. Need my general to win this fight. I do need to lose some of my fusiliers to hit these uh, household cavalry. My guys might break. Only 60 of them left, but there's not many in this big block of cav, so close range cavalry, close range canister shot should do some damage. Miss. Miss. Oh no, five. Run them into combat. Let's run these guys back behind my cavalry spikes. There's another unit of provincial cav coming in. Yeah, let's convince them to go for it. They're probably going to get me before I form square successfully. No, let's get. You guys to hit them. Should have done that ages ago. Let's 
break ranks, get this unit behind cover, because by the looks of it, they're going to route. And to be honest, let's get these guys over here. If the cavalry charge on, they'll just hit these cavalry spikes. Which it looks like they're going to. Get my general out of there when this infantry is ready to take up the gap. Okay, let's take you. Unlimber, let's take you. We'll limber up. Guys, this is the. Oh no, actually, you're probably okay. I was a bit. I was a bit concerned about having to abandon this flank, but by the looks of it, I might not have to. All these guys back a bit. Fire at will. Fire! Charge the bowmen, because otherwise they won't win. Hmm, be a loose end of what to do with these guys. Cavalry coming in, but there's still cavalry spikes. Definitely gonna lose, I think. This is all getting messy. There's my general. Let's get my general into the dragoon fight. Fusileros have naturally been unhappy about engaging in melee combat. Let's withdraw you. Uh, 
let's withdraw. Let's pull the units out. Let's get my Fusileros out first. They've got more of a chance to make it while the com while the colonial line infantry holds the line. General's bodyguard, let's get you out of there. Get you out of dodge. Let's get you out. So the job of these guys is just to hold them, hold them up. Let's get them out too. Ah, get out of dodge. See, his colonial lines actually doing doing an all right job. So they're going to hit my foot howitzers. They're probably going to get my artillery. But they're not going to get. Actually, they're probably going to get all of it. <laughs> Withdraw. There you go. Let's call it. Shot to pieces. Still, at least I've got remnants left. Close defeat. Sailor V. It was a pretty un, un in a pretty of a dodgy position. It didn't allow me to maximise my firepower. So the picking and the constant picking with cavalry wasn't great. Well, we lost about the same. Well, I'll say that as a win. We managed to knock out one and a half thousand out of the armies currently defending their capital. Um, let's auto resolve because may as well fight it. Because ultimately they need the men more than I do. They've only got one city left. Oops, here comes the British stack to hit Quebec. Men meaning if I attack Prussia, the Quebecs might not join. If they don't own Quebec and they've just got a couple of Caribbean islands, they might stay out of it. question is, before I do it, I've got to make sure they're not at war with... Oh god, that doesn't look good. May have to... Oh god, they've got so many troops. May have to spar with the... Oh, there's the Marathas. No, I don't want to give you anything. I'm not. Gonna, I don't. Apart from the Austria territory to maintain peace, I don't give away anything because if the Austrians attack, I'll fall back to Lisbon and destroy everything in Spain. I will flatten it so that it's of as little value as possible before I give it back. Before I give it to them, destroy four everything, every town, every port, every building, a whole lot. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. So what is that? Plantations here, willing. There you go. Let's get your army back up to strength. You're already, you're already currently trying to get back to strength. Ultimately, I think what I need to do is take you out of New York and then do some recruitment. So let's get two 24s, two 12s, ooh, 24 pound howitzer, two Marines, two Fusileros, Fusileros, and a Colonial Lion. Fleet arrived. Yeah, but you serve no purpose. Oh no, actually you can sit inside my trading fleet. I know you're a second rate and it's a bit of a waste, but... Meh. This army I'm raising in Portugal may end up being needed. Well, no, it won't, because this will become my garrison. Well, I'll delete some units and make it a proper garrison force to hold Lisbon. 
Lisbon's currently worth a lot more than Spain. Spain's only me 3,000 a turn. Lisbon's only me 7,000 a turn. I'm quite sure why. Is it industry? Oh yeah, I've got three wealthy water-powered cloth mills. No, two water-powered cloth mills and one Iron Masters works. The port's a bit of a bummer, so that's probably why if I did recruit... I may as well recruit a couple of good units, otherwise, so I can... Um, Use the army elsewhere. Let's get some two units of fusiliers to be able to place down stakes. But yeah, I may as well hold on. I may as well build a reasonable army so I can go up there, secure Reykjavik, and turn one of these into a new port. Because when I lose Cadiz, Cadiz, I'm going to lose my manufacturing position, my my naval manufacturing position on the continent. For mission path blocked. Oh well, yeah, your path block. You, you, neither of you can figure out who wants to go first. So. Su Majestad. Cambiaré de posición. A cubierto. Cool, cool, cool. Block. Yeah. So you need to recruit. Oh, um, this is for the army. Um, this is for the other army. Okay, don't need to worry about it. Let's do some merging. Oh, I think I've merged everything I can merge. Any? Oh no, there you go. Oh, this. Oh, it's colonial line compared to line. I get you. Well, let's recruit. I need to recruit some artillery. So let's get some 12 pounders and some 24 pounder foot artillery. Cool. Number one away from any tech. Cool. In turn, let's watch what uh, what happens. Because I've got a feeling the Austrians are going to go for me. Because the way they're moving their armies down to the Spanish border. The Brits doing their annual ferrying troops across the Irish Sea. Oh, they got pushed back. Or they decided... Yeah, they must have got pushed back. Because if they with decided to withdraw the siege, they wouldn't have lost any troops. Because it was a full clean flag before. Right, okay. Oh, they're so going to go for me. But this is what I mean. I don't necessarily want war on the continent. Um, which is why, you know, in effect, having... Iceland is so handy because it still gives me a, a base. Sure, it means I can't recruit armies in, in Europe because I'm, I'm assuming I will eventually lose Portugal to the same fate. Do I simply just force Austria to, uh, for if they want my stuff, force them to take it? When it looks like I'm about to fall, destroy everything, and then let it fall. Oh, yeah, I've got. So who's that? Naples, Sweden, Crimean Carne, and Persia. Stay here for now. Franco Nadal, you're here to top off this fleet because you're now you're still occupied. Good. Let's just keep money rolling. Sweet. To be honest, I think I might fight. I think I might fight Austria. Just 
recruit infantry, make them fight for it. Because I've got this artillery fort to be able to hold them off. Or do I get bold? Do I move them? Do I move them up to the border? So it's more of a the AI yeah, has to make a decision. If they want to fight me, they have to do it as soon as they cross the border. And translate like this army will move up. If this army attacks, they'll just fall back. Okay, so lots of recruitments going on. Those armies going up to support him. And then let's bring this guy in too. Uh, this guy will have to attack. But I'm definitely going to fight this battle to end the presence of American troops on continental soil once and for all. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time we will finally end the United States.